the apparently kid in a viral video from 10 years ago is back and apparently he's all grown up we're going to read into this from the positive outlook you guys and we're going to watch a video as well let's go hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with another good news, good vibe story here. And this one is from Positive Outlook with the headline that the apparently kid in a viral video from 10 years ago is back. And apparently he's all grown up, guys. Does this kid look familiar to some of you? It might look some familiar to you. Well, we're going to watch a bit of a video later on. But um, yeah, I'm going to read the story in the video. This is this is a this is cool. I, I love I love I love things like this, guys. So. For those who don't know, a decade after his viral debut, the apparently kid, Noel Rittler, returned to the Wayne County Fair to recreate his iconic moment. On the 4th of August, the WNEP released a video showing Noah 15 reenacting the memorable lines that first made him famous. And apparently, this has never been on live television before, he jokingly said, intimately in his five-year-old's voice, noting that his grandpa had always hands him the remote when they watched Powerball. The apparently kids said it felt great to say those words again in a WNEP microphone. He also felt nostalgic, recalling being in the same spot 10 years ago, according to People. Noah and his grandpa Jack looked back on the period after Noah's rise to fame when they often travelled to California with his appearances on the Ellen uh, DeGellis show. And during that time, the kid had a chance to meet celebrities such as Jennifer Garfer, Sophie Rella, Jim Carrey, Bruce Dallas Howard and Bill Clinton. Um... Those uh, these days, and now I step back from the Hollywood, but continues to share his adventures with his grandpa online. His grandpa noted Noah keeps him young and always uh, goes to the movies. Whenever there's a new uh, movie come out, we like to review it and post it on my YouTube channel. Noah says. He added that he currently balances YouTube, school, football, tr uh, track, and other activities, and he's getting ready to start driving as he approaches uh, his uh, summer more, more year. And he's a bit older now. Whether or not it's his driving license, the team plans to visit the fair with Grandpa Jack every year. And he said, I wouldn't trade my buddy for the world. He mentioned that he, he enjoys visiting the fair every year with his grandfather, who attended, who has attended ever since he was a boy. They both enjoy the rides, the food, seeing the animals. Now he intends to attend the, the fair annually as long as it remains a tradition. Sophia uh, Ogia, the reporter who first interviewed him and now works as a news anchor for KPRC in Houston, also celebrated the milestone on social media. Men's Journal also reported. Ten years ago, it was such a fun time, she posted on X, along with a cry and laughter emoji. The clip which was shared multiple, on multiple social medias, including YouTube, Gaia, garnered many positive comments. Viewers expressed their appreciation for seeing how well Noah and his granddad are doing and praised Noah for becoming a pretty good young man. Uh, another commentator reflected on the original interview, highlighting its humour and the reporter's reaction. They noted that the apparently kid went viral for being his cute, authentic self, adding that seeing that seeing he's still the same as teenager is heartening. And you can we can play it here for you guys. So I hope you guys in, uh, enjoy this. Ten years ago, this scared me half to death. <laughs> Ten years ago, WNEP introduced the world to a legend right here. Apparently, Dad. I've never been on live Dad. television before. And apparently, I, I've never been on live television before. Noah Ritter, dubbed the apparently <laughs> kid. My grandpa gives me the road every time we watch the Powerball. Is now 15 years old. <laughs> Noah, awesome. how do you feel saying that again 10 years later? It feels pretty good. I feel, feel nostalgic about it. It makes me, makes me reminisce about being here in this exact spot 10 years ago. And that's right. A decade later, Noah is still coming with his grandpa Jack to the same Wayne County Fair that made him famous. And again, I wouldn't trade my buddy for the world. <laughs> grandpa Jack was deeply involved with Noah's upbringing and faithfully stuck by Noah's side every step of his wild journey. Everybody say hello to Grandpa Jack! Yeah. <laughs> he stayed with us when he was first born and uh, I used to uh, keep him on my lap, I read to him. And it turns out that Noah's grandparents have been deeply connected to the fair. Grandpa Jack's late wife worked for Holly Diner, a food vendor that proudly serves meals every year at the fair. Yeah, she used to work for them years ago as a waitress. Grandpa Jack was involved with the fair since his childhood, too. Yes, when I was a kid, I used to show uh, cattle here at, uh, at the fair. I, I, that's why I brought him here, because I came here as a kid. And uh, 
I said, well, we'll go up to the fair, you know, and I'll show you the animals and stuff, you know. Noah's exposure from his viral interview at the fair led him straight to Hollywood. He became close friends with Ellen DeGeneres, appearing often as a guest on her show. A lot of times we were in the dressing room at Ellen's, a lot of the, a lot of the stars like Jennifer Garner and stuff like that. They'd come to our dressing room just to meet Noah. <laughs> Noah and his cool. grandpa met many other Hollywood stars and important figures. Chris Pratt, Bill Clinton, Sofia Vergara, Jim Carrey, Bryce Dallas Howard, a lot of people. Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm. Almost forgot about her. I met her. <laughs> Almost forgot about her. Oh my God. <laughs> and he was even cast as a judge on ABC's reality TV show, The Toy Box, similar to Shark Tank, where child judges tested and voted on new toy inventions presented in front of them. He had to go to school out there for four hours, right? And then, mm -hmm. then he worked an eight-hour day shooting the, the show, you know? That's mm -hmm. a rough schedule. Yeah, he had a... For an eight-year-old. Yeah. Noah continues to share his adventures alongside his grandpa on the internet. Yeah. He keeps me young. <laughs> well, we go to movies all the time. When yeah, whenever a new movie comes out, we like to we like to review it, post it on my YouTube channel. Now I'm juggling YouTube, school, football, track, a bunch of other stuff. I'm going into my sophomore year, getting ready to drive. Noah may be growing old enough to get his driver's license, but he will never outgrow the Wayne County Fair that seems to course through the veins of his family. Coming here, enjoying the rides, enjoying the food, seeing all the animals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think, I'll, I think I'll come here every year when they have it. I'll, I'll keep the streak going. Jeremy Lewan, Newswatch 16. Apparently, back in Wayne County. <laughs> pretty awesome, guys. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's, 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 it's awesome. Uh, uh, I don't remember it. I don't remember it ten years ago, but maybe some of you guys remember the apparently kid. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just pretty cool, you know. See something that they reminiscent uh, of the apparently kid reenacting it ten years ago. Um, pretty darn awesome story, guys. Um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What did you guys think of the apparently kid? I think it's pretty awesome. It's nice to reenact something like that ten years ago as well. And it's good that he's he's doing well. He's getting up. He's as he's as he's now older and uh, still spending time, obviously uh, doing stuff with his granddad still, which is awesome. I think that's awesome stuff as well. Um, and got to meet lots of celebrities as well. So pretty awesome stuff, guys. What do you guys make of this story? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you found this video delightful, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. And share it across social media so others are notified of this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing because it really does help support the channel. So thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to catch you all very, very soon.